Meta has started rolling out their AI tools. In this video, we're going to compare the image generator against Dolly 3 and Midjourney version 5. Then at the end of the video, I'll show you how you can get access as well, and it's surprisingly easy. So a couple of weeks back at the Meta Connect 2023, Meta announced that they would be rolling out their own suite of AI tools, including an image generator called Emu, something like what you'd see from Midjourney or Dolly. I got access to this earlier in the week, and I'm going to take a bunch of prompts, throw them in the Midjourney, Dolly, and Emu, and we'll see how each one performs using the same exact prompt. One thing to note is that while Dolly 3 and Midjourney generate four variations of the image, Emu currently only gives one. So let's go ahead and take a look at the prompts. So in order to create images in Meta's AI, you have to create a new chat. You can do it with the Meta AI, which is what I have open here, or you can do it in a conversation with one of your friends or family. So I'm just going to do slash imagine, and then I'm going to do Yoda waiting in line at McDonald's. And then this is the same prompt I'll run through Dolly and Midjourney as well. Okay, that's super creepy. His uh, eyes are super bloodshot. There is kind of a McDonald's logo here. This does look like the inside of a McDonald's, though. And not a terrible Yoda. He's got a little more hair than I'd like to see, but I like it. So let's move over to Midjourney and run that same prompt. All right, so now I've got Midjourney pulled up. This is inside of Discord, if you're not familiar with it. Uh, you do the same thing, forward slash imagine, and then the prompt Yoda waiting in line at McDonald's. All right, so these are the images that Midjourney created. A lot more realistic looking. Um, Yoda in picture number four here kind of looks terrible. It looks like an old, kind of like a puppet out of place. Something's really wrong with this picture. I'm not sure what it is. The second one, aside from his hands doing all kinds of weird things with his fingers, it's actually a pretty cool looking image of Yoda. I'm not sure what's happening with the hands in one. Um, but overall, much better quality than we got from Facebook's Emu tool. And let's go ahead and look at this same prompt inside of Dolly 3 now. Oh, no. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh, man. I do not like that at all. Uh, so in three of the four images, they've got Yoda wearing a mask while waiting in line. Um, I'm guessing that has something to do with the waiting in line part of the prompt. Um, social distancing and all, but... I, uh, the artwork is really good though, aside from the mask. Everyone's wearing a mask. That's terrible. And then the one image that he's not wearing a mask has this weird color wash to it. Uh, such a cool artwork though. In terms of the quality of the image, I would have to say Dolly 3 does a better job with things like this. Um, but this mask thing I am not cool with. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the next prompt. All right, for my next prompt, I've got Homer Simpson Photorealistic Ultra HD 8K. I added those extra like photorealistic Ultra HD parameters because in mid-journey, those do make a big difference, and I want to see if they do inside of the Emu tool as well. Oh, I forgot to type imagine. Oh, that's terrifying. I'm not sure what's going on with the eye here. Um, let me move this image down so you can see the whole thing. Yeah, that's rough. That is rough. I do not like that at all. All right, let's try that again in Mid Journey. Now I've got Mid Journey back open. Do imagine Homer Simpson Photo Realistic Ultra HD 8K. All right, so this is what we got from Mid Journey. This first one actually looks more like Mark Coleman than Homer Simpson. Um, these are definitely better than Emus, but they're still pretty terrible looking. This is probably the best. But even that one's not great. All right, let's try that in Dolly 3 and see what we get. All right. If Homer Simpson comes out wearing a mask in this one, I'm going to be real disappointed in Dolly. Man, Dolly really, like, this hair, I don't know what's dripping from his mouth. But overall, like, the uh, shape of the head and everything looks much better here. That actually looks like it's straight out of a video game. Man, Dolly crushes it in terms of getting the details right I'm not sure what all this dripping paint stuff is some weird things with this hair here but overall I, I give that one to Dolly and the Yoda one too aside from the mask the artwork on the Yoda images were really good all right let's take a look at the next prompt for the next prompt I have Foo Fighters performing on the moon all right um, these guys don't necessarily look like Foo Fighters it kind of looks like 
the guy on the left, his tattoos may have the feather thing that Dave Grohl's got going on, but it's hard to tell from the way this image came out. Um, that is not a good picture. Foo Fighters performing on the moon. This is what we got from Mid Journey. This is actually much, much closer, although it kind of looks like possibly that Dave Grohl is playing drums and guitar, if that's even who that's supposed to be. The artwork in these look really cool, um, but yeah, it still doesn't wouldn't necessarily call that Foo Fighters though. But the artwork is much better than Emu. All right, now I'm gonna run that same prompt in Dolly 3 to see what we get. Kind of along the same lines of Mid Journey here. It's, you can't really tell what's happening. There's some kind of space battle. Looks like it may be going on up there. This one looks dangerous. Yeah, not really sure what's happening, but I would probably have to give this one to Mid Journey. It seemed like it did a little better job of handling this prompt. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next prompt. For this next prompt, I've got Bruce Lee versus Jet Li in a comic book style. I don't know if it'll do celebrities or different styles. In All right, so it cannot generate that image at all. Let's try that same prompt. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and run that same prompt inside of Mid Journey to see if it can handle it, and then I'll run it in Dolly as well. I'm pretty sure that Mid Journey can handle celebrities. I'm not certain about Dolly, so we'll give that a shot and see what happens. Right. Bruce Lee versus Jet Li comic book style in Mid Journey. Right. These are actually pretty cool images, especially I like the art style in the second one. Um, the second one's also the only one where they actually look like they're fighting each other. Yeah, so not terrible, but could have been better. Let's try that in Dolly and see what we get. Okay, so Dolly actually crushed this. Um, we're looking for comic book style, but it does sort of look like Bruce Lee versus Bruce Lee. Um, this one's really good. These are much better overall. All right, so once again, Dolly 3 um, may be king here. So far, I think of all the tests we've done so far, Dolly 3 is probably the best um, by a significant amount with Mid Journey coming in behind that and then Emu just sort of being left in the dust by those two. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next prompt. We're going for a video game theme prompt this time. An orc riding a wolf through Orgrimmar. Alright, so this is what we got. There's no orc at all. Um, I can kind of see this background being Orgrimmar and this wolf is terrifying. Those biceps. Um, a really cool image, but it's not what I asked for. So let's try that in Mid Journey and see what we get. All right, and this is what we got from Mid Journey. All really cool images. Artwork is amazing, but there's not a single orc in any of these images. That's really bizarre. I like all of these a lot, though. Those are all really nice. So let's try that in Dolly 3 and see what we get. Once again, Dolly sort of crushes it um, in some ways. It's actually a orc riding a wolf, and this actually looks like Warcraft style. Um, but this is definitely not Orgrimmar. Yeah, really cool images here. But it looks, other than the, the red banners back here, it almost looks more like a Stormwind. But still, once again, I'll give this one to, to Dolly 3. It understood the prompt better and actually gave me closer to what I was looking for than anything else. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next prompt. For this prompt, I did imagine a beautiful woman escaping the simulation. I want to see what Facebook or Meta thinks escaping the simulation looks like. All right, so give us this. I'm not sure how this is escaping the simulation, but the art style is really good on this one. All right. Let's try that in Mid Journey. So this is what Mid Journey gave us for escaping the simulation. Yeah, these are all much closer to what I would expect. I really like the clocks in the fourth one. Yeah, those are all really good. Let's try that same prompt inside of Dolly now to see what we get. All right. Um, all right. These actually look a little too CGI. Um, something about the way the lips, I don't know. Um, and there's nothing that screams escaping the simulation in any of these. I think in this one, Mid Journey actually handled it better. All right, let's go on to the next prompt. For this one, I did a frog wearing a cape, gripping pink style. All right, that is a frog wearing a cape. 
Yeah, I didn't understand what I was asking for the dripping paint style. This is still a pretty good image considering how vague my prompt was. All right, let's try that in Mid Journey. All right, so this is what we got for Mid Journey. The second one here is actually closer to what I was looking for. Um, but ideally, the whole thing would have been sort of dripping. Kind of, uh, the third one kind of gets it. But so far, Mid Journey and Emo have both handled that prompt pretty well. All right, so now I'm trying that same prompt inside of Dolly 3. Interesting, this one gave him a little uh, vest as well. These are a little cartoonier than I would like, and I'm not sure what this stick going through him is. Yeah, I feel like Dolly 3 handled the paint dripping effect better than the others, um, but I thought the frog looked better on Emu and Mid Journey. All right, let's move on to the next prompt. All right, so for this one, I'm doing a cyborg playing video games while riding a bike. All right, so it's a cyborg riding a bike, all right. No video games. It does kind of look like Sector from Mortal Kombat, though. All right, let's see how Mid Journey handles that prompt. All right, so this is what we got for Mid Journey. The first three actually look like he's playing video games. The third one looks like he's in a computer chair and not on a bike. He actually has a keyboard. Uh, but overall, these are uh, these are all pretty good images. But the one from Meta wasn't bad either. So let's try this in Dolly 3 and see how it does it. <laughs> Dolly 3 coming in clutch. So I'm not sure exactly what's happens here. This kind of looks like he's on a roof. There's some controllers laying around. He's on what looks like the front of a motorcycle. It's hard to tell from the angle, but I do see a back wheel back here in the back. Um, and it looks like his steering wheel is actually a controller in this first image. That's an interesting take on it. There's some weird things happening here with the handlebars. I like this image, though. He's definitely playing a PlayStation uh, 4 here. This is a good image. PlayStation 4 here too. Overall, I would say uh, I would say Dolly handled this one better as well. Seems like it's man, it might be the best one right now, at least for the way I'm prompting. I know there's some wild things you can do with Mid Journey, but um, for what I'm doing with this test, it seems like Dolly 3 is kind of crushing it in most of the prompts. Let's go ahead and hop into the next one. So for this one, I did Super Mario running away from Sonic. I wanted to do running away because I wanted to see that kind of like he was trying to get away from something look on his face to see if it handled emotion. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure what's happening here, but this is not what I wanted. Yeah, that's not even... Oh, that's terrible. Let's try that in mid-journey to see how it handles that prompt. That's... That might be one of the worst ones we've seen so far. That's... Homer Simpson was pretty bad. I just put that same prompt in a mid journey, so we'll see if it does any better. I can't imagine it's going to be worse. All right, so this is what we got for mid journey. Much better. Um, there's no Sonic that I can see in any of these. On the third image at the bottom, it looks like that could be shaped like Sonic's head. These are all really cool images of Super Mario running, um, but there's no Sonic in it, so. Not really what I asked for, but a big improvement over what we got from Meta's Emu. Let's try that same prompt beside Dolly. I'm not sure how to interpret this. <laughs> At least Sonic's in the picture this time around. As well as it looks like a flying Mario Kart up here at the top. I'm not sure what's going on there. Or whatever this thing is. Uh, okay, so he's running towards Sonic and not away from But him and Sonic are actually both in the picture. And these are actually... This is more like a like a Smash Brothers type image than Mario running away from Sonic. But the fact that Sonic's in all of these images, actually, I would have to give this one to uh, Dolly. This one here, he's actually running away from it. Looks like he's dropping some coins. He's way bigger than this warp tunnel. I'm not sure how he would ever fit into there. But, yeah, I'll give this one to Dolly. I thought the artwork in Mid Journey was better. But the fact that Sonic's in the picture and Mario is sort of running away from him here, I'll give this one to Dolly. And then let's go ahead and look at the next prompt. All right, I want to see how it handles pixelated images, so I'm going to do a pixelated version of Batman and the Joker. Hmm, that is not pixelated at all. 
Um, why is Batman wearing a suit? His makeup's super weird. It looks like, yeah, man, Emu's got some work to do. Let's try that same prompt in Mid Journey and see what we get. All right, so this is what we got from Mid Journey. Um, yeah, these are a little closer, especially the second one. It's super pixelated, but I'm not sure why he's wearing the. Uh, I give him a bow tie and everything, and the sort of like the uh, Batman who laughs. He's got the face paint on in the second image, actually in all the images. Man, that's weird. But Joker's not wearing any face paint in the fourth image. The third image has this weird mosaic style going on. Yeah, it did not handle that prompt well at all. But better than Emu. So let's try that in Dolly. It only gave me three images, which is weird. But all of them are significantly better than anything I got from Mid Journey or Meta on this one. This is actually really good. All of these are great. Yeah, those are awesome. Dolly 3, once again. I'm going to do one more prompt, and then I'll show you how you can get access. So I'm going to do one more prompt, and then I'm going to show you how you can get access to the Meta AI tools right within the Messenger app on your smartphone. For this last one, I'm a big fan of the Bioshock video games. And I've always thought it would be cool to have a home office sort of done in that theme. So I'm going to have all of these image generators design a home office in Bioshock's Rapture just to see what happens. Okay, this does not... I mean, I could kind of see it. The art style has that Bioshock feel to it, but nothing aesthetically um, inside of this room looks like it. It's inside Bioshock. Let's try that in Mid Journey. All right, now these look like they came straight out of Bioshock. Hmm. I think I like the fourth one the best, but these are all pretty good. Let's try that same prompt in Dolly and see what we get. Yeah, let's throw that into Dolly now and see how that looks. <laughs> all right. Um, I see what it was going for here. Yeah, nope. Yeah, so it sort of took... What just happened in here? Yeah, I gotta say, in this one, I think uh, Mid Journey handled it better than all of the others. All right, let's take a look at how to get access to Meta's Emu. First, you want to open the Facebook Messenger app on your mobile phone. Click the Create New Chat button, and then choose AI Chat. And then you want to click to request early access. It took about a day before my access went live, but that's literally the entire process of getting access to this. You may have to update the Messenger app on your phone if you don't see the AI chat option. Thanks for stopping by. For more fun AI videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. It helps the channel grow. Thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you next time.